Okay, guys, we are down to the last episode of Ahsoka, and honestly, for me, I don't think this episode's gonna save the series for me, um, but I still had a good time with this show. Uh, I'll always be a Star Wars fan. This gave me some good stuff in here, good ideas, uh, expansion of the uh, old ways, as well as connecting some of the new, and yeah, like, I mean... It's just not my style, honestly, and I don't know if it's the fact that I haven't seen any of the other shows that are the connective tissue for this, uh, or it's just the new age of Star Wars that has kind of just been lacking in general uh, compared to the great movies of Star Wars. Um, so yeah, I guess it is what it is, and I don't, I'm not even 100% sure if you can actually blame the fact that I haven't seen the other shows because there have been franchises like the Mission Impossible movies. I've only seen the last two. Enjoyed them. Absolutely enjoyed them. I understand what was going on. Wasn't lost at any point. Same thing with the, the Daniel Craig uh, 007s. The first 007 I saw was No Time to Die. That was the last one. And it made me love it so much that I became a super fan and watched the other ones. So I don't know if you can necessarily blame the fact that I haven't seen the other shows or not. Or again, it's just not coming together as well, and it's just not pulling me in. But just some of the writing is just uh, just bothers me a lot. But I do love Thrawn. I'm loving Ahsoka. Not really caring too much about Sabine. Regardless, we're gonna watch this. We're gonna see how it ends. Hope for the future, obviously. And yeah, it's still gonna be pretty good. So let's just go ahead and uh, check it out. She who heard our dreams across the stars, come forward gonna bump up in power you shall be rewarded yeah give her an upgrade the gift of shadows is it the ring of power <laughs> cool damn what in the hell the hell the sword? The blade of Towson. Not the blade of Towson. The shadow sword. Cool. Cool. It is time. Damn, man. It's going down. Let's get it going. Send it off with a bang. The Jedi, the Witch, and the Warlord. Okay. The Jedi, the Witch, and the... Landlord. <laughs> Warlord. <laughs> I had two of those. Kanan took the one, the other I held onto in case he ever needed him. It is probable that you should have it. Nice. It's a cool looking lightsaber. I like it. What color is it? Where did you get the crystal? Let's go. Just finished. Just in time. It's on. <laughs> Soka needs to take him out like she did out in the uh, spacewalk. What? You just ram into him like that? Okay. Oh shit. Got him. I mean, your ship's down too. Did you really get him? It's gonna slow us down a bit. A bit. May the force be with you. I love it in Star Wars how you just need one little blowtorch and you can fix an entire spaceship. As I say, that you guys are three targets. Holy cow. Damn, nice. A beam. Okay, cool. Getting some action. Shit. She barely did a, a forced backhand slap. So I guess a straight line is the best uh, way to dodge all of it. Yikes, that was close. I mean, they kind of just went in a straight line and just opened the door. All right, all right. More is better when it comes to lightsabers. Sabine, yeah, you gotta, you gotta mix it up, girlfriend. Nice, nice. 
Okay. He cut him in the ass. Nice shot. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No way. Cool. They're like undead troopers. You have to cut their heads off now. Cut them to bits. You guys got lightsabers. Well, I guess you can't kill them. That's cool. I love that. It's like a horde of stormtroopers. I love it. Oh, that's fucking weird. Oh shit, I'm coming up on you. Oh shit. Ooh. Ouchie. The Jedi are advancing swiftly at this rate. They may get on board the ship, which would be programmatic. I understand. You gotta stay here, huh? Right after she's got these badass powers. <laughs> They're like, bye. Good luck, it sucks here. You got nothing but turtle people to keep you company. Endless army. Why can't you just hit the close button? Why can't I slash it? Magic versus magic. Cool. Here we go. Round two. She's got a different weapon now. Cool. Okay, this is better choreography. Holy shit. Oh my god, yes. Yes. Where was this the whole show? Damn, she's badass. Oh my god. <laughs> Super strong. God damn. Okay. Show me. Show me, John Wick. Nope. Ain't gonna work. <laughs> you at least gotta pick up a lightsaber. Oh shit. I didn't see its face. God damn. Come on. Cool. You have to say, you have that power too. Let's go. Oh, thank you. The head goes rolling. Finally. Lightsabers cut things again. Do it. Do it. Oh, now she's... Oh, now she's pushing people now. So, what? She's just... Strong now? Uh... Why? Yes. She is cool. I like her. I know she's bad, but damn. I love her choreography. So badass. Yes. Cool. Alright, cool. Yes, she should have been doing this John Wick shit, man. Master and Apprentice. Where the hell is Balin? Did I miss something? Where the hell is he? Oh! Double tapped with her own sword. Yes, Ahsoka. Yes. I hope she keeps that sword. That'd be cool. Come on. Where are we jumping to? Thank God stormtroopers can't shoot. Yes. Give him that engine. Oh, shit. Ahsoka Tano. Allow me to commend you on your efforts today. You've been quite a worthy opponent. Can you not get me any more power? This is where a ruin such as you belongs. Today, victory is mine. What? No, it ain't. Get in there. Hurry up. Long live the Empire. Oh, shit. Really? <laughs> No way. So now Ezra goes back and they get stuck? That sucks. Well, that's awesome. They literally switched places. Now they're with the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> oh no. Really? Okay. Well, I guess Ezra's got to team up with uh, Luke Skywalker to get him back or something. I don't know. 
Yeah, what was Balin? Where's Balin? Okay, I was gonna say. What are y'all doing? Yeah, what the hell is Balin doing? What? Man, it really does look like Lord of the Rings. Epic. Epic shot. Oh, so cool. Yep. There's the Lonely Mountain. What is Balin after? We didn't even get to freaking find that out. Oh, here we go. I really want to see the look on their face when they see Thrawn's coming back. And there's no Ahsoka. I want to see it. Take off the helmet real slowly. Cool. He's going to have his uh, big reveal moment. It's her husband's student. <laughs> Where the hell is everyone else? Eh, that's the thing. And no map. And uh, now you gotta wait for the space whales or something. Thrawn got away. Yeah. Ain't that and a bitch. And thanks to you. And thanks to I you. I would have just kept it at thanks to you. What is it? Just shadows in the starlight. She's seen ghosts. Who is it? Anakin? Do you see? Yep, there he is. Sir Skywalker. Dang, man. So she's gonna train both of them. Okay, that would be cool. That would make... That would be pretty cool. If they, if Anakin stays there and helps them train. Oh, yeah. Then I can buy Sabine being more of a badass, you know. And she did kind of, like, get her powers out of nowhere, right? Like, before she could barely slap Shin in the face... And I guess, you know, under pressure, you just, she's like sucking up lightsabers and she's throwing bodies and shit. So, yeah, I don't know all about that. Just because we're setting rules that just kind of feels like it keeps changing. I guess I don't mind the fact that Sabine can like slowly grow her powers. It's just probably like how she did it, I guess. Um, just under pressure and just was able to do it. I don't know. Maybe if we can see her throughout the story, uh, you know, slowly building that muscle and getting more comfortable with maybe sucking the lightsaber, like little bits here and there to lead us up to her launching bodies. It was cool to see, you know, Sabine with Ezra and Ahsoka working together with all the lightsabers. More lightsabers, the better. I love that. Uh, I love the idea of the undead troopers. That was a cool idea. This show did have a great amount of additions to like the star wars lore like the space whales the undead army uh distant galaxies and stuff like that so yeah it did bring a lot of stuff into the fold that i absolutely am down for it doesn't bother me at all i'm all for it and you know it's still connected to things i am familiar with like anakin um so yeah they did a good job on that but but I feel like my main gripe about this whole series was the writing and some of the characters. Uh, you know, I can go on with the the New Republic just doubting the existence of any Empire remnants. And there's literally giant engines being stolen by facilities that are supposed to decommission the parts into nothingness. And instead they're selling it to random people and then they get busted for doing so. And yet there's still no evidence for any kind of remnants. They have what happened in Mandalorian with uh, what happened on Mandalore. And then you have in here where there's plenty of bodies of robots and other things in the force that they could pick up in that uh, planet they used to shoot off into the galaxy. And honestly, the writing with now Ezra and Thrawn switch places with Sabine and Ahsoka. So... It's really weird. Uh, I love the idea of Anakin training them on a distant planet so when you see them it's like cool and ready to go and you can cut out a lot of their training. But the idea of now Thrawn and Ezra coming back and then you're down Sabim and Ahsoka, uh, it just seems a little funny how they switch places completely. Now they're with the turtle people and now he's got to deal with uh, the New Republic that he knows nothing about. Uh, it would be cool to see young luke and ezra meet up and fight and stuff and maybe uh get involved with the new jedi temple and whatnot so yeah there's a lot of potential for this ending for sure 
But another problem I had was with Balin. Balin was such a cool character, and it was really interesting what he was talking about because he seems like a, a real great Jedi where he's like, the Jedi made mistakes and the Sith do mistakes. And it's like, they win, they win, the other person wins, the other person. It's just endless. And he's talking about a greater power that's beyond all of that. And then all we get is him and Shin just kind of go their separate ways. So their relationship ends. And now Shin's going to be in charge of, like, the raiders of the planet. And we see Balin on, like, a giant statue and stuff. So it looks like the place was of significance. And there could have been some power. But I wish we would have explored a little bit more on that. I'm um, not a huge fan of Sabine in this show just because uh, I feel like there's always that one character that gets everyone into trouble and she's that character. But that episode was good. There were some good episodes in here and like I said, there's a lot of stuff that I did take away from the show that I did like. Is it better than Mandalorian? Mm, probably not. Just because Mandalorian is kind of more expansive and it's definitely not better than Andor. But... Uh, I think it may be a little bit better than Kenobi. So, yeah, I, I'll give it that much. But anyways, guys, that was my reaction to Ahsoka Season 1, Episode 8. And I'll see you guys in the next one.